everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MC Tutorials. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to make a Pokemon-like encounter system, which in basic terms means that encounters on only a specific set of tiles. Let's go to this tile that map that we made ahead of time. I did I made this between episodes. And see, we have we have a lot of grass. We have a lot of tall grass here. But first, before we do this, we need to get something a little special. Let's go into map making view and click on this R tab. This tab is what's called regions. And see all these squares with numbers indicate a region. What we're going to do is click on this one. You can use whatever one you want, but make sure you keep track of it for later. And we'll cover all the tiles, we'll cover them with this tile. So we're going to cover all of this with ones. There we go. You can, I'll do this with the other ones just to show you guys. Some more there. Oops, let me just undo that. Oh, keep in mind, this also works with the paint bucket tool. So if I fill this entire region with ones and I switch to the paint bucket tool, I can fill them all in that way. Now I'll also do this with the square tiles. Oh, and you can also do this with the ellipse tiles too, with this ellipse tool. However, this does not work with the shadow tool, as this will just create shadows instead. Alright, now that our ones are in place, we can, we can go out of this view, and as you can see, they're completely invisible to the player. That's okay, that's what we want. Now, to do this, you don't even need an event, but first, we're going to have to go into the map itself. Press space, or right click on it, and click edit, and now we're in our maps. Now here's where the magic part comes in. We're going to go into the encounters tab right here. You can use whatever you want for your troops here. But for example, I'm just going to use goblin times two and leave the weight as is. Pro tip, if you make the weight higher, it's going to be more likely to happen. The inverse is related. If you decrease it, it will be less likely. Now here's where the fun part comes in you need to click on specify by region ID and for our, and you can do this on three different regions you can do this on up to three different regions so for this we use region ID number one so we're gonna make one you can do as many of troops as you want and you could do you can do multiple if you want certain troops to appear on certain tiles but other troops do not appear on certain tiles anyway we're gonna click on OK and we're going to set our starting position of our player right here. So right click, set starting position, player. Then we're going to play test our game. Save changes. And now let's begin. I've been noticing that the, uh, the game audio has been a bit low, so I decided to just fix it now. Now we're here on our game, and now as you can see, when we walk into these bushes, we'll get into an encounter, eventually. Oh, and don't worry, we have, we have an item that we can use to attack. There we go. Let's just defeat them as normal. Nice, we got a miss. The body slam. Okay, that didn't look like the status. And a crit. Now let's exit our game for now. And as you can see, we can do this with any tile set of specific characters and enemies to appear on that tile. Let's take this a little step further. Let's go back into this map view and change this to tile set 2 if we want a different event or different enemy type to appear on that tile. 
let's change it onto this tile. We'll go back into our map view. We'll go back into this. And we're going to add a new troop. So let's do, uh, how about gnome times two? Specify by region ID, two. Now that that's taken care of, let's load the game. The, well, this, this might take a bit. There we go. Now let's just run around waiting for an enemy to appear. There we go. Now, as you can see, we get one tile from an enemy here and a different enemy in a different region ID. It's simple, effective, and it gets the job done if you want to make any sort of Pokemon-like encounter system with your games. You can always do this to make, like, Pokemon encounters. Oh, and you can make... You can even do some bit of finagling with the troops and you want to do some more advanced stuff. Anyway, this is Windy Wear Inc., and I'll see you guys next time.